Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now you are watching part 3 of the subseries C Sharp project settings. In this video, we are going to see how to set assembly information for the binaries. In the past two videos, we created two kind of binaries. One is a DLL and another one is a EXE. Now we will say it assembly information for this EXE and DLL. So these are all the quick review of what we saw in the previous videos. So now let's talk about the assembly information. Assembly information provides details about the binaries. So these details include publisher information, version, trademark, and copyright. When there are many binaries deployed in the uh, client system, this assembly information helps to make sure the binaries are in sync. Let's say the deployment holder contains some five or six files just for an example. So each may have some uh, uh, binary. It can be a OCX or it can be DLL or EXE whatever it is. Let's say this is version 1.1. After that, user upgrades it and they change the version from 1.1 to 1.2. So, to make sure all binaries are in sync, we can use the assembly information. If it is a .NET uh, uh, assembly, we can use the assembly information to cross check that the binaries are in sync. That means they both are at version 1.2. So if there are one file at 1.1, then we may have some issue with the deployment. All right, so simply we can use this version information of the binary to know all the assemblies are in sync. That means all the binaries are in sync. Assembly information can be viewed through file properties or through tooltip. So we will see this as part of the demo. Now it's demo time. We will go and change the assembly information for both of our binaries. So here we have um, sample math as well as math user, which we created in the previous videos. So we know that we delivered this in temp1 folder. And if I hover my mouse to simple math, so whatever you see here is the assembly information. We can change this information. So this is math user, both are one point okay. You can view this through properties also. Go to details and you can see product version and file version. Now we will go ahead and change this detail. So to access the assembly information, you have to click properties. First open the solution explorer, then click on the properties. I mean double click. After that go to application tab. So previously we set uh, build path, all the stuff. Now we are going to assembly information. So click on this assembly information and you will see the assembly information dialog box. Here description. Then uh, product name, we can keep it as a simple math. So assembly version, I am giving it as 
1.2 file version also 1.2 that's all here so click ok then click save all after that go to math user do the same thing application assembly information math user so in real world the description will be something useful uh, i mean uh, whatever the exe is uh, doing so that kind of information you will provide then company i'm giving it as coding example youtube product we can still use a math user copyright 2021 trademark uh, yeah if you want you can change the trademark also here i am keeping the assembly and file version as 1.2 so for previous uh, dll also we kept the uh, same uh, information now i'm clicking okay save all here so to make this assembly information available we have to rebuild so first we will do the rebuild then we can check the assembly information if you see here uh, our dll is delivered to temp1 now we will deliver this as well so if you look at the output the exe also delivered to temp1 math user now if i go here we can see date modified is today's date to april and if i hover my mouse you can see the file description is math user company it shows coding example youtube file version is 1.2 so to make sure sample math we because the math user make use of sample math and to know both are in sync we can use that file version information so both are 1.2 this is 1.2 and math user also 1.2 we can check this through details tab of the file property also file version and product version both are 1.2 that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye